when we talk about computational complexity we basically uh, compute, compute the cost of the operation okay. there are many operation for example in queue there is in queue dq operation okay so there are many operation inside the algorithm and each operation has a different cost okay so when we compute the total cost of the algorithm the uh, we most of the time uh, make the overestimate of the power operation cost means for example the nq operation take cost 1 so that may be overestimated in uh, some particular different example okay. so for example here i am taking a very common uh, problem binary counter example binary counter is a counter means it will count to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 in this way and every time it will get incremented by 1. Let's assume here is a k digit binary counter. So there are k number of digit. I have taken 5 for uh, this example. So what what is the operation here? There is a single operation called increment, increment by 1. Okay. So every time I will call this operation increment by 1, it is going to add 1 with this counter value. So next number will be 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. The next number will be 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. Okay. In this way, we will uh, do the increment operation. Now what is the cost of increment operation? If the number of digit is k, what is the worst case cost of the increment operation? In the worst case, when the cost is how many number of flips, digit flips we are making. So this operation is very simple. Every time we are adding one with the last bit and manipulating the carry. Okay. For example, in this number we are adding one. So manipulating the carry and it's got one zero okay so we are basically making two bit flip in this case so if we continue these things for example we are at seven which is last three digits are one 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 and we are adding one so it will be one zero 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 so uh, the increment there will be uh, the flip operation number of flip will be at the worst case k okay that is the equal to number of digit okay. so the total cost cost worst case cost of this increment operation looks like k okay it is worst case but what is the actual cost of this increment operation because every time it is not going to be the k digit uh, all the uh, flip in the all the digit it may be one digit flip it may be two digit flip it may be at most k digit digit flip so what will be the actual cost not the worst case cost that we can do using the amortized complexity Okay, to better understand these things, we take a real life scenario. Okay, the cost of a per day cost of a student for one year. Okay, per day cost of a first year student. Okay. So, if we go for this uh, worst case notation, so the maximum cost will be the first day of the semester when the student has taken the admission he has he may have spent a lot of money on the first day for the admission okay so if i take that as a worst case and multiply into 365 then the total cost will be for example if the first day expenditure is 1 lakh rupees the total expenditure will be 365 lakhs rupees 
for the first year okay so that is not the actual case in real life scenario what we do we add on the total cost over the first year 365 days and then divide by the number of days that is the definition of amortized complexity what we have to do we have to sum up the cost of So the definition of amortized complexity is sum of cost of a sequence of operation okay, divided by n, where n is the length of the sequence. That is the cost the definition of amortized complexity. Okay. So now let's compute the amortized complexity of the binary counter. This this amortized complexity is more accurate complexity or you can say the almost actual complexity. Now let us compute the cost of binary counter increment operation. Okay. So let us say in this counter we are counting up to the number n. Okay. So n has a binary representation it may be 1, 0, 0, 1, something like this, it may be anything, okay, up to n we are computing, okay, so if we write some more bit, you will understand it better, 0, 1, 1, then it will be 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, it will be 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, in this way, so in this way we are counting up to n. Okay. So, if we go to the actual computation of this cost, what we can see how many total bit flip are happening. We can change, uh, we can uh, view it from a different angle. For the first bit, okay, this is second bit, this is third bit, fourth bit, fifth bit. For the first bit, how many bit flip are there in total if we are computing up to n? In every alternative, there is a bit flip 1 to 0, 0 to 1, 1 to 0, 0 to 1. Okay. So there are how many number of bit flip are there if we are computing up to n? There will be n number of bit flip. In every position, we have the bit flip. How many number of bit flip in the second? Okay. First two element have the same bit. Next two element have the same bit. Next two element have the same bit. This way. So there will be n by 2 number of bit flip in the second digit. Okay. So let us sum up what will be the next n by 4, what will be the next, n by 8, so up to d digit, so there will be d number of terms in this sequence. Now what is the total cost, we have to compute the total cost, total cost is put n outside, then we have 1 plus half plus 1 by 4 plus you can take it finite, you can take it infinite, does not matter. Okay, so what is the total sum of this value? If you forget the geometric series, it is a geometric series. If you forget the sum of geometric series, no matter, you can visualize it in more realistic number 
distance. Let's say we have a line. Okay. This is zero. Okay. This is one, and this is two. Okay, the first number is up to this. Okay. Second number is half of the previous. Okay, so will be up to this. Third number is half of the previous. So it is up to this. If we continue this way, can we ever reach two? No, never. So, what is going to be the total sum? It will be less than two. Okay. We can write less than equal to. Equal to will come if we are adding this up to infinite term. Okay. For infinity, it is going to be two. So, the total cost is less than equal to two into n. So what is the power operation cost? Power operation cost okay. So the power operation cost of this increment operation is order of 1 because 2n by 2 is constant so we can write order of 1. So the in binary counter the amortized cost of the operation is order of 1 though it look like it may be the order of k but the actual cost is order of 1. Okay, This is the first example for amortized uh, complexity. We have lot of, of uh, example in binary search tree, in graph algorithm, shortest path, animal spanning tree. Everywhere we go for the in steep list, everywhere we go for the amortized cost, total amortized cost. That is more accurate complexity. And if you read a good book, uh, there will be written amortized cost, uh, complexity of this operation, order of log n. In, in the bracket amortized. So, you need to understand that thing. Okay. So, this is the first lecture. We will uh, do some more stuff on this amortized analysis with some practical examples.